We're bringing you coverage from Number 5 Village here on the west coast of Burbese, where residents from Number 5 Village itself, the Number 4 Village and the Number 3 Village, have joined with two families to protest the gruesome murder of two teenage cousins at the weekend. Uh, residents have regarded that crime as a hate crime fueled by race and is calling on the Guyana police force to carry out a thorough investigation and ensure that justice is served uh, in relation to what has happened. Uh, we have members from the Major Crimes Unit currently on the ground here in the backlands where the two uh, teenage boys were discovered on Sunday, carrying out their investigation and gathering evidence. Uh, we've seen on the ground here this morning former President David Granger and opposition leader Joseph Harmon visiting the area, engaging with residents and speaking to the family. Uh, we've had several commitments coming from the two gentlemen. Mr. Granger told uh, the residents and the protesters uh, that their reaction to what has happened is a correct response. Uh, he has endorsed what is happening here. Uh, Mr. Harmon has also endorsed what is happening here. Uh, and we've got commitments from them that the AP and UAFC coalition opposition will stand the cause for the burial uh, of the two young men. Uh, let's take a look at what Mr. Granger and Mr. Harmon had to say this morning. It is not your fault, it is not the boy's fault. Uh, Mr. Harmon, the leader of the opposition, has promised to ensure that there's a thorough police investigation. But what is clear now from all the people from West Coast Barbies, this region five, Aika Barbies, is that whatever happens on this day, we have to establish some self-defense society to protect our children, to protect our women and our young people. Because unless we protect ourselves, nobody's going to protect us. What you all are doing here is the correct response to a crime. And the government must protect all citizens, whoever they are, wherever they are, day and night. It is not happening. It's not happening. And if the government does not do its duty to protect our citizens, we must protect ourselves. We will take the opportunity to assist with the burial expenses. Yeah. We will take care of the burial expenses. Thank you. The former president and the opposition leader were also joined by other members of the APNU AFC coalition. We had former Minister of Education Nicolette Henry here with them this morning. Nicolette Henry is believed to be a cousin of the two teen boys that died. We've also seen several other parliamentarians of the APNU AFC opposition on the ground here this morning. The newsroom was also able to speak to the mother of Joel, one of the guys that died, uh, Miss Gail Johnson. Ms. J Gail Johnson uh, fought through tears to remember the type of person her son was and also recounted her last moments with him. Let's take a look. Wait, I'm stressed out. Um, if, well, I can't explain my feelings. I'm very like, discouraged, you know. I'm sad. My son was a very loving person. Very loving, caring. He always comes to try to help me. What was he doing? The same morning he left to go to war. And then I keep sitting waiting on him. He knows it is how well he went down with a friend. That was the last we also spoke to the father of Isaiah, one of the teen boys that was killed, Mr. Henry. Mr. Henry also recounted his last moments with his son. Uh, he has also called on the Ghana police force to carry out a thorough investigation and to ensure that justice is served. You saw that brutal torture. I know that my son and my, my cousin, they had on them, they begged them, they plead. I don't know why they didn't see these little boys that could have had them where they come from. There is not number five boys or, you know, if people get grievance about number five people and that kind of things. This is not about race and religion or, or political things I'm talking about on my own behalf. This is not about all these things here for me. But this is for justice because of my son, innocent life that go in the background. They could have considered these two youth, young youth. They could have considered these people, get, these youth get family. 
you could consider the girlfriend, maybe girlfriend or boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe people that could have responded, could have <coughs> beaten them or injured them, carry them, you know, punish them, carry them at the station. There's a the right thing I should have done. Grew up in church, taught them the ways of the Lord. In Sunday school, right down to this age. And he was a very nice and quiet boy. Friends in this family. In this village, we know him. My nickname is Jira because all of the black, all of the Indian, we used to live between. And me being a black, they said the Jira in the dark. My son and I take up the fields, the same son that dies, take up the same footstep and moving around with all Indian by becoming this community. Indian and black is one. Heavy police presence on the ground here this morning. We also have members from the Guyana Fire Service here on the ground. And we have residents holding placards and showing demonstration that they are against what has happened and they're calling for justice to be served. Uh, currently, there is a backup of traffic. Uh, no vehicle is allowed to go into uh, the deeper into the Burbies region, to the Burbies Bridge, and vehicles are not allowed to go to traverse into the city. Uh, but the police is here, the police is keeping things uh, under control, but residents have taken to the streets. They have blocked those streets using tires and other debris, and they are calling on the Guyana Police Force to carry out their investigation and ensure that the matter is, is resolved and justice is served. Uh, reporting for the newsroom from Burbies, I'm Kurt Campbell.